Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing what is OFDM, that is the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing for OFDMA, uh, which is a multiple axis technique. And so this is the procedure or the principle uh, of what OFDMA follows. So uh, what OFDM basically has, it has got many closely spaced modulated carriers and this modulation can be done over the voice or the data and so uh, there will be n number of side bands which is spread on both the sides so uh, you need to get the complete signal uh, for demodulation by the receiver so mo modulation takes place on one side and on the other side you will have the receiver which will receive all the side bands which is spread out and so the signal transmission uh, close to one another must be separated with the help of some uh, filtration mechanism or some kind of protection bands or we call it as guard bands uh, in OFDM scheme. So uh, this is a technique which is uh, there for other receivers. Uh, so in order to distinguish whether the signal coming is a data signal or whether it's a voice signal. And so in OFDM, we don't have this guarding mechanism, we don't have this filtering scheme, we don't have this protection mechanism, nothing is there. But in OFDM, what we have basically is we have overlapping of the uh, signal. So that we can see this, the closely spaced carriers which are there in OFDM. And so uh, you may be seeing that interference will happen in this kind of technique, but no, no interference absolutely happens in this. And so uh, why? Because this is orthogonal, this is at right angle. So this technique mainly happens at the right angles and because of that, no interference happens in this technique. And so the carrier spacing, uh, the spacing uh, which is there between each of the carriers, is equal to the reciprocal of the symbol period so uh, that's where the time consideration or the time factor comes into picture so uh, you have this uh, setup of multiple signals and at different frequencies so you have the receiver filter which is a pass band or then one signal is selected at each time and then it is being sent so you have some space in this which you can see for multiple frequencies so these are the bands or the division of the frequency which is there so uh, let's see the working of how the OFDM basically works in this. So the receiver here or the demodulation happens. So the receiver basically happens or it is considered as a bank of demodulators and it converts each of these carriers which are there that is the modulated carriers into a stream of the DC signals that is the direct current signals and then the obtained signal which you uh, convert in this step it is added with the uh, symbol period. So uh, the uh, merged product of this will form the data for the carrier and uh, we mentioned like the carrier spacing should be equal to the reciprocal of the symbol period and so that is required for a large number of cycles in the symbol period and so if that is the case then there would be uh, zero contribution of all the signals uh, getting uh, just a jam of the signals and so there would be no absolute interference in this so uh, that we can see from this uh, diagram so this is the closely spaced uh, carriers in the OFDM so uh, we can see the overlapping of various signals so the signals could be either data signal or voice signal and so you have multiple closely spaced carriers in this so uh, this is how the uh, technique works. So you cannot see any guard bands or the filtering mechanism which is kept in the other receiver schemes in OFDM but the overlapping, the natural overlapping of the signals which happens naturally uh, will protect it again from the signal jamming as well as the interference and so this technique is mainly adopted for the uh, prevention of interference than from the other technique which we saw that is the TDMA, FDMA and CDMA. So uh, this OFDM mainly mainly focuses on the uh, interference so uh, no interference should be there in the signals and so it mainly used for the digital audio broadcasting and video broadcasting and the conversion and vice versa so uh, well that was all regarding the concept of OFDM that is the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing so uh, if you guys enjoyed this video found you got educated watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video